Okay, after creating primary load cases and combination load cases, we will now click Analyze, Analysis and Print tab. For this, we'll just perform analysis, then no print, then just add. If you'll forget this step, you will get an error in your when you run the analysis. Okay, so this is the command perform analysis. When you click the dialog box previously shown, the next will be the design tab. Click this one. Okay, so if in the design tab you will click select here, the sub tab, steel design, concrete design, timber design, aluminum design, floating design, shear wall design. But in our case, we'll analyze this as a steel structure. So this is the we will click steel tab, then click the current code you'd like to apply for this analysis. So I'm using AISC AST alternate strength design. Okay, the next is to define parameters. Okay, so we'll select this one, the whole structure. Then you can define parameters here. Let's say stiffness, or stiffeners for plates, etc. Deflection, and so on. Then you you assign, you add and assign. But in my case, I will not assign anything for the parameters. I'll just set it everything as a default, or I will be using the default value provided by stat. Okay. Okay, so you can also select parameters by the way. What do you want to add in your analysis? Then just click the arrow so that it will be transferred to the left side for your analysis. But anyway, I will not use that one. I'll just go directly to commands. So in the commands, we have many tabs fixed check code, select, select, optimize, select, weld, select. Well, trust fixed group, group takeoff, and so on. Size okay. Uh, to make it simple, I will just first check the code, or in other words, stud will check the code if my assigned sections here for the beams and the columns will pass the code. Okay, so, so I will check or click assign. So stud will. Select the uh, check the code for the structure. Okay, then uh, we are now ready to go. We can now run analysis for our steel structure, but we just want to check the code. Okay, run analysis. But first, we have to save. Save. Okay. Okay. Let's say str2 as our file name for stud. Okay, let's go to the view output file. So this is the output file. This one is the output file for stud. It contains data for your model, the coordinates, and the materials you used, the constant material constants you used, the steel sections you used, the supports you used, member loads, and so on until the uh, results. You click the steel design results. Then you'll notice that some of our members pass and some of the members failed. So for beam one, member one, it failed due to uh, slenderness ratio and so on. For the pipes, every one of the pipes or every all of the pipes passed but most of the beam steel beams failed so you can see that your structure is not yet okay so you will close that one
So since our still did not still beams did not pass, we have to design it again. So go to steel and let's let's start choose the right steel section for the beams. So we'll click close. Click or select the beams first. Okay. Then go to commands. Then click select tab and start and add a sign. Close. Start add will select the right section for the beams. Then let's run analysis again. Okay. So this is the second part. So right now, Stad chooses the optimal section or selects a section for that particular member beam. And these are the selected members. Okay. So the steel section varies. But all of the sections are still channel. If your section is channel, then start to select an optimal channel section for your structure.